Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from my color screen, the place where you come if you want to learn how to recreate brilliant looking Android home screens and lock screens. So let us begin with today's video tutorial for all the music lovers out there. Let us begin. Great, so today's video tutorial is on a brilliant looking Android home screen by the author RDXHD with his home screen called Alone. It's got very dark calming colors and what sets it apart is this brilliant little music setup we got going at the bottom where it literally is music at your fingertips. Starting at the top we got this very serene background here, feel bad for this little guy being all alone. I guess hence the, the name, but we've got our little shortcuts that we have over here that say if you wanted to open up your mail very quickly, just by selecting one of those icons will bring up any shortcut that you desire. So it's got everything from your, say your calls, your people, your messages, your chat, your favorites, so you can put a folder in there and your browser there, so it's all covered. But the coolest thing about this screen I'd say is the little music player at the bottom. So say I'm listening to a song, I can just select play and I'll start playing the song which is really cool, it's really handy to get if you want music very quickly and you can just simply change the song and it'll start playing a different song. So if you'd like to set up this brilliant looking Android home screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, there's some apps that you'll be needing. First off will be a custom launcher such as Nova Prime, the one that I'll be using here. But you're welcome to use Holo Launcher for the gingerbread fans out there, even SS Launcher and Apex Launcher, they all work very well. So the next thing you'll be wanting is UCCW, it's great and it's free, as well as Media Utilities, same thing applies. In the description below will be a link for the resources needed that you definitely need to copy onto your phone or first onto your, onto your computer, extract it and then copy it back onto your phone. So with that out the way, we can now move on to our launcher settings. Great, so once you've got everything onto your phone, you can now jump straight into your launcher settings. So in order to do that, well for Nova Prime at least, you want to just hold down on your home screen and select the wrench there. Now once you're in Nova settings, you want to go into your desktop. From here we want to go into our desktop grid. Now for my Nexus 4, a 10x5 seemed to work pretty well for the setup. But if you're using say such a phone such as a Galaxy S3 or a phone with a different resolution, then you might want to be changing it up a bit, but I do recommend leaving it like this for now. From here, you just want to be selecting OK. Your margins, you want to be on None. If you go into your home screens, you just want to be selecting one home screen. You want to deselect your shadows. From here, you want to deselect label icons. And you just want to be having Resize All Widgets and Widget Overlap and Overlap when placing Enabled. It's going to come very handy with the screen and you definitely need overlapping widgets. Once that's done, we can go back. From here, we can go into our dock. Now we don't need a dock at all, so we just want to have it disabled. We can go back now, and from here, we can go into our look and feel. Now there's two ways of having this. If you tend to prefer having a notification bar at the top or not, I'm going to be leaving in my notification bar just because that's what it looked like on the My Color Screen page. So I'm just going to be leave it, leaving it in, but you're welcome to deselect it and then just change the wallpaper accordingly but we'll get to that later. Now that's pretty much it. There's no dedicated app draw icon. So if you'd like to add one in, you can go into your gestures and buttons. You can change your home button now. That's a little one at the bottom there to open up your app draw, which I always do. It works for any home screen and I find it very, very useful. So you can just go into this one here and select app draw and it'll set your home button as opening up your app draw. If you want to get really technical, you're also welcome to have different gestures such as double tap to show your notification bar or anything else like that, but that's up to you. I'm just going to go back now and that is our Nova settings complete. You can go back again. You should have everything blank. If you have any icons or widgets, remember just to hold down and select remove or just drag them into the X at the top as now we're going to be moving into our wallpaper. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so for the wallpaper, very easy to do, well, depending on your phone, we want to just simply hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers, remember to copy all those resources onto your phone, otherwise they will not appear. From here, you want to go into your alone folder where it comes with that wallpaper, really not much to it, as you can see, not really fit, fitting well, but if we select that little cropping type of icon at the bottom of, if you say using Nova, it should have this little bottom section here, and here you can select portrait. 
Now, as you can see, it takes up the entire screen for my Nexus 4, including that little notification bar, black bar at the top. So if you do not like that, you could just always make it a TNC bit smaller like that and then just making sure that it cuts off that black bar and it might just cut off the sides a little bit, but it'll be worth it in the end. And also if it's not, that's not working out for you, then I do recommend going into wallpaper wizardry as you can always just get a better fit with using that. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But for all the other phone resolutions out there, if you find a better way of doing this, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll like it just so other people can see it. So I'm just going to be selecting OK. That's going to set your wallpaper. You're welcome to use any app, app to set your wallpaper, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. So there's our wallpaper set up and now we'll be ready to add in that UCCW skin at the bottom. Let's do it. So for the UCCW setup, we simply want to hold down at the bottom here, selecting widgets. We want to be scrolling all the way down the widget section here and we want to be selecting UCCW. As always, doesn't matter what size you're going to be choosing, as you can always be resizing UCCW, does not matter at all. From here you want to be selecting user and you want to be finding that folder, that alone folder that you've hopefully copied onto your phone. Remember if it comes in a different format such as a zip format or a raw format, you want to be unrawing it with a file explorer such as ES File Explorer. Just keep that in mind. Now this has come up with our user folder. We don't want to do anything to it. You don't want to try and extract it or change the try and open it up on your folder. Just make sure that you've copied it onto your phone like this. All you want to do now is be selecting it. It's going to now import it for you. And hopefully if you tap the hand, it should show up with a cool looking little skin here now if we resize it we just want to hold down on it select resize and then just drag it so that it fills up fills up the bottom screen here but as you can see things aren't fitting too well so we're going to get into that right now we're going to tap back and from here we want to be editing that uccw skin so all we'd have to do is select somewhere around the skin which will bring up our uccw editor if it doesn't that means your lock widgets is on and you want to go into uccw into from your app draw Go into your little settings here at the top. You want to go into lock widgets and make sure that it's off just so you can get into this area over here as otherwise you won't be able to edit it. Now mine was a bit high so all I want to be doing is moving it all I guess one shift down. So pretty easy to do. We just need to select our background here which will bring up our select object list and we want to be selecting common controls. Now this is for my Nexus 4. A lot of other people it might fit a lot better so just keep that in mind you don't have to move it down if you don't want to so i'm going to select faster movements and just move everything once down twice let's see how that looks you can just go back and it does look a lot better however i don't really like these two change tracks here at the sides i just want to bring them in a bit so i'm going to do the exact same thing here just going to go into back into our background or our select object list select image one that's our first one here just go into our position faster movements Let's just see one in, do it for both. But for this one over here, it'll be image three. So change position, faster movement, one in, go back, close. Let's see how that looks. Much better. I just had to move it down one and these two in once again. So there is our UCCW skin set up. However, it might not work too well because we still have to configure something in Media Utilities itself. So in order to do that, we'll just have to go into our app draw. You want to find media utilities over here and we want to go into its settings so we just need to go into our menu here or menu at the bottom and get into our settings like this now if you scroll down a bit it'll come up with application integration from here we definitely want to have uh, uccw enabled as you can see i've just enabled all of them as i want media utilities to work with all my apps or well, the ones that will allow it so definitely make sure that uccw is selected otherwise it just We'll not talk to it and you're not going to have a good time. As now what we want to do is go back into our UCCW editor. We can now see what our hotspots will be doing. So if we go into our background here, go into our hotspots, those will be changing our tracks and that's been configured with media utilities as well as showing you what's going to be playing. So you're also welcome to resize them a bit, put them a bit lower down. But just remember that you do not need to change anything. You don't have to change, you don't need Tasker for this setup. A lot of people think that. Nope, it's just media utilities and plain old UCCW. Now what you want to do is turn hotspots mode on so that you can get this thing running. All you have to do now is go into your menu once again, go into your lock widgets and then say on. It's going to enable your hotspots and everything should be all well and good. 
let's just test it out now but just a quick note before i say that uccw is not as fast as super widget and it's not going to be instantaneous it will still get the job done however so let's just try it out i'm going to select it now it's see as you can see it's straight away it start playing however changing a track if we select it it changes the track immediately however updating itself will take a few seconds so don't expect it to say changing the track straight away As you can see what I actually had to do there was lock my phone and then unlock it and then it eventually started playing uh, eventually switched the title so keep that in mind if you are getting really irritated I guess you can just recreate the skin in UC in Super Widget and it should be a lot more responsive so there we have our UCCW skin complete only thing we'd be left to do now is to add in these awesome looking shortcuts great so in order to add in these shortcuts very very easy to do especially if you're using nova launcher you just need to hold down on your home screen and select apps now what you can do say select multiple now all you want to do is select any app that you would want to have on those that'll be covering over those icons such as for your phone your email or your messaging a chat application such as whatsapp and any browser of your choice you just want to select add now and all you want to do now is just simply drag it over those specific icons remember if it's not fitting too well that means that you definitely want to be changing that grid size but remember as this as long as it covers that area that means you're all well and good to go now what you want to be doing is changing all of these to a blank png or transparent icon in order to do that you want to hold down on the home on each one of those icons select edit select the icon and from here you want to go into gallery or app doesn't or the quick pick app doesn't really matter and from here you want to find a blank png so i got mine over here you want to select it you want to be selecting okay and it'll make it blank for you very quick and simple so we can test it out just by selecting that it'll bring up your whatever app that you would want so you want to be doing it to all one of these for now and i'm going to just pretty much show you how to create a folder here very very easy to do we can actually just hold down on this area here and select apps now the quickest way to add in a folder you want to say select multiple and then select whatever apps that you would want I'm just going to select any any here and you're going to select them like this and then you want to select create folder it's going to create a folder like this and to make it blank you're going to do it exactly the same way as before select edit select the image Go into your gallery or quick pick and then go into that blank png that you've definitely or hopefully copied onto your phone so you just want to be doing that for each one of these so get right to it and there we have our home screen complete you've got all your shortcuts set up you've got your little music area at the bottom here and you've got a really cool looking wallpaper that makes it your phone just finishes it off very well so thank you very much guys for watching if you like this video please leave a like and please please subscribe if you haven't already also please check out our facebook google plus twitter and instagram communities marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing